Hi, Palm Lake Elementary. I'm Doc Lucky, and I have asked the Queen of England to talk to you a little bit about me. But she was busy, so I found somebody that has heard of the Queen of England, and they'll talk to you. Doc Lucky Meisenheimer is a very unique and eclectic individual. He was born at Patrick Air Force Base on the east coast of Florida. His family moved first to Indiana, where there was lots of snow, but had to move because Lucky kept falling off the sled. They moved to Kentucky, and Lucky did normal kid things, like putting on magic shows, shooting muzzle-loading rifles, and chasing and raising turtles and snakes. But the thing that Lucky liked the most was being in the water. From a very young age, Lucky was always getting in the water, and eventually, he became a swimmer. Hard work paid off. He went on to swim in college and set school records. When he wasn't in the pool, he was in the water doing normal things teenagers do, like catching octopuses, riding the original flipper, and setting records for swimming with his foot in his mouth. As a master's swimmer, he held national and world records in the pool, but what he liked best was swimming in oceans, rivers, and lakes. He has won many open water races, and he even set a fin swimming record for swimming the 12 and a half miles around the island of Key West. He has also done some unusual races, such as inner tube races dressed as Captain America, cardboard boat races, and he doesn't always win like the time his cardboard boat sank and turned into a giant man-eating taco. Lucky loved swimming so much, he even became a swim coach and coached one of the largest Masters swim teams in the country. He also loved working with Special Olympians, and he coached the Orange County Special Olympics swim team at the YMCA Aquatic Center for 25 years. Several of these athletes have joined him swimming across the lake in his backyard, which is known as Lucky's Lake Swim. Doc Lucky started swimming in the lake in 1989, over 30 years ago with a few friends. The lake swim has become so popular that it is now ranked one of the top 100 open water swims in America. And tens of thousands of people, from Olympians to Special Olympians, have joined Lucky for a swim. When you swim the lake, you get to sign the back wall of Lucky's house, and you also get a patch and bumper sticker. Folks come from all over the world to swim with Lucky and get their picture taken with the mascot of the swim, Buddy the Gator. And everyone knows you should always swim with a buddy. Lucky also had a pet duck that used to swim the lake every day with Lucky. Lucky named the duck, Duck, so everyone could remember his name easier. Duck was particularly fond of biting swimmers' toes. In addition to his daily swims, Lucky hosts charity events. His most famous race being the Golden Mile, the winners receive real gold medals. The Golden Mile raises money for the Lake Kane Restoration Society, which is a charitable environmental organization that Lucky is president of. The society works to keep Central Florida lakes safe for swimming and safe for native plants and animals. You might think that swimming is Doc Lucky's job, but it is not. He is a Mohs surgeon, that is a doctor that specializes in dermatology and surgical treatment of skin cancer. You also might think that Doc Lucky wouldn't have time for hobbies, but he does. He loves collecting things, whether it be baseball cards, comic books, or call stones. But what Lucky loves collecting is yo-yos. He has thousands of them from really big ones that weigh over 800 pounds to little tiny ones. He has yo-yos made out of wood, iron, silver, gold, and even glass. He has yo-yos that blow bubbles, makes ice cream, and even yo-yos with real lasers in them. He has statues made out of yo-yos and even curtains made of yo-yos. He has so many yo-yos that he has the Guinness World Record for the largest yo-yo collection. Dog Lucky also wrote the book on collecting yo-yos, and a copy of the book is in the Smithsonian Institution. That is not the only book Doc Lucky has written. He also wrote a science fiction novel called The Immune that won the 2012 International Book Awards for Science Fiction. Additionally, he wrote a book with his three sons called The Zombie Cause Dictionary, 
which is associated with several short films based on the characters in the book. Doc Lucky plays the role of Doc Ruger in the films, and you might have seen him on TV in the Zombie Survival Store commercials with his sons and father, who also play characters in the book. Doc Lucky has been on many TV shows and has even directed a film for National Lampoon. What does Doc Lucky do to relax? Well, he plays underwater hockey, of course. Finally, he is married to a wonderful woman who everyone calls Saint Jackie because you have to be a saint to put up with all the weird things Doc Lucky does. Well, that's about it for me. I just want you to remember three things. Learn to swim, always wear your sunscreen, and you can never have too many yo-yos.